Has anyone else been not sleeping or just me? It's been me too. All three of us. Like, I've been going to sleep like at four or five. Since four or five? Yeah. Oh, shit. It ain't that bad. Mine's been like two. Like, it'll be like three in the morning and I'd be like this. And is that from stress? Is that from diet? That's from diet, stress, Call of Duty, everything going on in the world right now. My brain is literally mush. Mush indeed. It's like oatmeal. Whoa. What? I'm about to jump on this trampoline real quick. Just for my body to move a little bit. Something. Bro, the V-I-R-U-S is still going. And we got a curfew now. First off, shout out to the Protein Nesquik. That tastes so good. Please sponsor me. Please. You know how much money I spent on Yerba Mate? How much do you think? A lot of money. In three. 2019, how much do you think? Oh, probably like two, three thousand. First off, we were just talking about how when Noah and I were in collage, it was our last term. Was it the last term? That was junior year, actually. No. It was like the summer term, like this time, summer term. Ah, uh, you're right, it was summer term. We had a class called Basics of Cancer. Really, really exciting class. It was towards the end of the year, or towards the end of the term. Yeah, it's one of those classes where the teacher just talks and nobody's participating. It is four city. <laughs> All of a sudden, I'm sitting there writing, and then there's the loudest boom crack noise you've ever heard in your entire life. I can't even describe what it was like. Like a sledgehammer. Like a sonic boom. And then I looked next to it. came right next to me. It was Noah next to me. He had leaned too far back in his chair and the whole plastic chair just snapped. Noah was like, and his chair like, he was like leaning out of it and the whole back of the chair was on the ground and everyone turned and looked. This class had about like 85 people. That was the most <laughs> embarrassing moment of my college career. I was trying to stretch. I just went too far. Boom! <laughs> And I damn near broke my back. Like, oh, oh. It was a moment of silence in the whole class. I just see all these heads. I sprinted out of the room because I laughed so hard. And this is the moment where you think your friend would be there to be like, hey, it's good, it's good, it's good. Let's act like nothing happened. Brian went, oh, 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 oh. This man, Naruto run out the room laughing so hard. <laughs> it couldn't have made me feel even more embarrassed after he did that. Because I just vanished. For 10 minutes, I had to leave. I was wheezy. I couldn't catch my breath. And then I called Rob immediately. Oh, oh you're what? Like two years, two years ago. ago. Yeah. yeah, 2018. Stop. Called a few friends. I said, no, it just made a lot of snores <laughs> in the lecture. And it was crazy because I was waiting for the teacher to yell at me and be like, what did you? Are you? She just was like this. Went right back to the board and kept going. Luckily, the guy next to me was like, hey, you okay, bro? And I was looking down at the shattered pieces behind me like, yeah, man, I'm good. <laughs> the old plastic chair shattered. <laughs> Brian sent me a picture of it. It was splashed <laughs> on the floor. And at the end of the class, I went up to the teacher, pushed down the remains of the chair that I had busted. And I was like, sorry about that. She was like, they got to make these chairs better. This happens all the time. Has anybody else had an embarrassing moment like that where the whole class saw you just do that? You ever had an embarrassing class moment? I definitely farted in class before. Oh. People heard and people heard. I was like in anatomy class. Was it like quiet? Then you farted. You were just you showing how your anatomy like, worked. Some girl sitting behind me had like long hair. People were saying like when I farted that her hair went like. <laughs> I was like y'all capping, bro. I don't know. It was not were that you hard. In front of her. And we were like back to back. And they said I farted that hard. I was like, not in part that hard. I may have farted, but. Her hair did not blow like that. When you ask the witness in the house, bro, I swear that hair was like. <laughs> how do you alleviate that situation? So you farted. No. It. So it's like this. It's like. Oh. Obviously it turned red and I was just, I didn't know how to react. I think I owned up to it. I was like, okay, yeah. Now carry on. <laughs> okay, y'all yes. got me. It happens to the best of us. I think in middle school one time, I had to memorize a Shakespeare monologue and I didn't memorize one word of it. So I stood up there for like five minutes, fumbling and mumbling. I hate that teacher. I have a whole story about her. I was in class, bro, boringest class on the planet. If the color gray was a person, that was this teacher that oh, we had. Geez. He was talking like this about it. Bro, I knocked out. I was just asleep. He went and asked asked me a question knowing full well that I was knocked out like a light. He's like, what do you think about that, Ryan? I was asleep. And I don't know what woke me up. Maybe Noah tapped on me. This was called like design theory. We were going over design this. one. This was freshman year. Going over shapes and compositions of art. The teacher was talking. He was at the desk. Ryan and I were in front. I think the teacher made eye contact. Clearly saw Ryan was sleeping. He made it a mission to be like, oh, next question he asked, he was going to ask Ryan. I saw him eyeing Ryan and he asked the question. Of me, what do you think, Mr. Burton? And I looked over. He's not awake. <laughs> Bro, I said, <laughs> yep. <laughs> And you came up with some half-assed answer and it was so obvious that you were sleeping through it. It's not like you were the only bored one there. You were just the only one that he could see with his eyes. Good old days. Good old days. It's crazy you don't know the good old days until they're gone. Yeah, like in that moment when I broke the chair, I wouldn't have thought that'd be the funniest thing. And oftentimes the worst experiences make the best memories and the best stories when yeah. you got left at the club. Now we can laugh about it though. So that's the thing. Did yeah. your crush ever call you back? 
Noah. We know the answer to that. Okay. Update, here's the tap peeling. Notice how it's very splotchy here and all the black's coming up. Basically, this happens sometimes with tattoos when they peel. It's not as dark as it should be, so you gotta go and get blasted again. So unfortunately, I have to endure the pain. Rob, how's your tattoo doing? Pretty good, actually. It's kind of just peeling a bit. It makes my other tattoos look really ugly, but we're working on the arm. Sooner than later, my arm's gonna be cooler than it is already. Yours isn't like fading and like all the black coming up. Mm. I can't say fading, it's just, it needs more saturation. That's the thing with tattoos, they have to be hit a second time, oftentimes. Uh, I would rather have just gone through the pain one time, but what can you do? Bagu music video. It's online. It's live on the interwebs. Rob featuring <laughs> Nobo. Mm -hmm. Rhino makes a cameo in it too. I do make a cameo. Look at it. Because he was in Jack Harlow's video, so I was like, I need to get him in my video too, so it can go viral. Music video in description. Music video in the description. Go watch it. Let me know what you think. We just filmed it in the apartment because, you know, we're on lockdown still. We can't go anywhere. So try to make it as fun as possible still. I have been practicing my pull-ups. Are we doing a challenge right well, now or no? Here's the thing. I'm not even going to challenge Rob right now because Rob hasn't practiced in a while. We could challenge. Rob, I just worked on my <laughs> Let's see. No challenge. Let's just do pull-ups. For the past hour and a half, I've been doing pull-ups, doing bicep things, and now I'm drinking my protein. I DM them trying to get like sponsored by this company. They were like, fill out our thing and see if you want to become a... I don't know, man. I'm just trying. <gasps> Rob's trying to get sponsored by Yerba Mate. I've been trying to get sponsored by Yerba Mate, but they don't want to sponsor me. I don't know why. I'm like, fine. I guess I just would never show your drink online ever again. <clears throat> He's going, bro. Ooh, I feel good. I haven't done them in a minute. I'm trying to get better at the wide grip because the wide grip is difficult. Now, granted, I just stopped my workout for the day. I literally just did pull-ups and biceps. I'll crank out one or two of these. Yeah, no. Nope, nope. I'm not even gonna try to hurt myself. What else is on the agenda? The agenda, we got this box here. This is where we put all of our trash now, and then we just take it to the trash bin thing. Trash cans are too overrated. Let me go ahead and open up this cabinet with my food. You get that side. All right, cool. I'll grab this one. Open this up. So, what the? What I did here, I reorganized it because all I had in here was rubbish and random stuff, and I didn't know what I wanted to eat, and it was just so jumbled and unorganized. So, I have all my oatmeal here. I'm gonna be tossing back one to two of those in the morning. And then here I have some not perfectly healthy granola protein bar. They have some sugar, whatever. And then the peanut butter, which I'll be going through, like it's running out of style. And does peanut butter give y'all like mush? Or just me? Oh yeah, it goes through me. And then we have the low carb, carb balance whole wheat tortillas. How many calories? I don't do that whole the calorie thing. I don't do uh, no okay. I don't do no calorie counting. It just has low carbs. 70 calories per thing. Man, I don't even care. Cubs, we wash the dishes. We wash the dishes. We're in this together. I have a question though. Would you guys buy Rob Socks merch? This is, I'm just asking for a friend. I swear to God that would go crazy. Wouldn't that be cool? What would they look like? I don't know though. That's the thing. I would have to like design them. What if they have your face on it? That's my first inclination, but that's me. I don't think people would wear my face on like socks. Some Rob Socks though. Maybe the top comment on this or whichever one gets the most likes of what the Rob Sock design should be. Yeah, please give us some suggestions on what kind of sock you would wear as a Rob Sock. What date is it? June 1st. First of all. Summer. They said 2020 would be a movie. It's a movie. It's a movie I don't want to watch. They didn't tell me what genre it would be. I know. We were supposed to be hanging out, doing stuff, hanging with people. Rob was supposed to have a girlfriend by now. Oh. I would have been wiped up right now, but like, you know, the whole lockdown and the protest. So many things have been going on right now in the nation. And we as, what are we, what's our group name? The Avengers? The ABCs. We are the most diverse YouTubers. We kind of make up all races. Hawaiian white, black white, Latino, Japanese. Who do you know that has that mix? We need a name or something. We need a name. YBN, NBA, NLE, NLE YNW, ABG Neil, RNR, RNR, Rhino, Rob. I think we should be the ABC. Anything but clothes. Always bring in Cheddar. Cheddar. <laughs> oh. Wait, do we need a group name? It'll be cool though, because like we got Loveless Surf, Rob, and then collectively we are. <laughs> I'm like trying to think. This is how guys act when they get, just get a hand tat. I'm trying to think of a name. Can you guys think of a name for the thing? I'm trying to, mm, it's kind of the tip of my tongue. Hold on. Did you, bro, it's about your mind. You just gotta think. At the end of the day, it's about thoughts. Imagine if the coolest YouTubers on the platform came out with their own clothing line. Right? Wait. We did, we did. We did. 
<laughs> oh shoot, that's, that's the that's coolest YouTuber. YouTuber. Best dress YouTubers. I'm gonna coin that. Because I think we coined underrated. Most underrated. This vlog channel is underrated now. Everything we start is always underrated. We're the best dress YouTubers. What are these other YouTubers wearing? I'd be yeah. seeing some with the super wide shirt, with the Gucci with on With the it. neck all Gotta have the Gucci up. Burberry headband. I mean, not saying we don't have designer clothes. There's a science to wearing designer clothes. I think it's the people that have never had it in their lives just have to be too Versace much. with the big Versace guy on it. Got the watch, got that. Off white pants, and I got the Versace slide. There's nothing wrong with that. I just think it's a little basic. You know what I mean? If you have all that money. Why not like buy the cool Burberry hoodie, but then some cool pants and some cool shoes? Not everything has to be designer. Does not. The thrift clothes that he's be getting and stuff like, you can really do some cool stuff with thrift clothes. Doesn't have to be super expensive. And sometimes they can look like they're thrifted, but they can be $400. What brand is that? The, um, De um. Oh, I thought like Marco customized these. No, the, uh, the Depp de la Galerie. They don't even know about that. I mean, I mean I ain't gotta explain it. No but then you got the four dollars sweats with the. I don't know how much these are. Birkenstock, like a hundo. I have the affordable mansion sweats with the super expensive shoes. Absolutely affordable for the mansion shorts. Samples, samples, brand samples. If they saw the other video, they would have seen that we were rocking the mansion. Oh, and the new skit. We're gonna make another video later this week yep. explaining the mansion thing and the meaning and all that jazz. But for right now, these are the only samples we got. There's nine pieces gonna be in this drop on June 12th. And we gave you all some simple, simplistic designs. The first drop, we just amped it up within two seconds so get ready to see the next stuff that we're gonna show you a lot of time and effort went into these again we'll explain this in a later video what happened with the first drop was we did it it sold out in the first day wait I wanted like more people to see it okay we didn't get enough inventory like we should have bought more and then people were like it sold out I don't know how to do it. so what we did was we put everything back online but then we had to buy more and those had to get shipped in the factories are in LA but then had to get shipped but then everything was a virus so people got their products a lot later they got them weak later that's our apologies so apologies to those people but we decided that can't happen again nope so once the stuff is out and sold out it's not gonna go back up I was getting stressed because I was having moms email me I haven't got it yet man Please. We have to buy more. We had to restock. Why you guys gotta buy them so fast? There will, there will be no more restocking whatsoever. Uh, so when we make these drops, better get it right away. That's all I'm saying. If they don't want it, this is gone. But if you think you want it a couple months from later, it's already gone. My buddy just sent me the picture of the finished sample that's getting sent here tomorrow, I believe. <sighs> got some extra heat. I'm worried that it's gonna look too and cool. if you guys got the mansion shirt from the first drop, might as well get the shorts to match it. The all black fit. We listened to the people also when they said what they wanted, things that they thought would be cool. We even have a hat on there. You guys will see that. We were doing it like scheduled up a bunch of different designs for later this year mm -hmm. There's gonna be some like fun products and stuff that aren't just clothes like and let me make a statement real quick If you're not following at mansion on Instagram right now, I'm disappointed We literally have at mansion and we're not wearing no simple we stopped putting the no wear rhino faces on the shirts. So like guys, this is like actual clothing that you can wear. Even if you don't like Love to Serve, you can just wear our merch. This is what we're building. When I go shopping, I'm like, I need this to feel like this certain way. And I want it to look like this. Okay, fun fact, I'm not even joking. I've worn these shorts for the past five days, every day. Whoa, what? It's so comfortable. There's certain details and stuff. A lot of people will just toss out some craft design. We will not be doing that. If y'all ever been to Zoomies or been like yeah. to Tilly's, whatever, it's like the same quality. And it feels good knowing that like, nobody even knows what this is yet really, except for you guys. So when you walk outside, you don't even know where you would get this. And they're like, what is that mansion? Oh, y'all don't even know about mansion. Mm. The people that are gonna get on the boat now are gonna be the coolest of the cool. Oh, and it's like the clothes are so dope. When we show you the full unboxing of all the other pieces, all I'm saying is June 12th, mark your calendar. Put that in your phone, June 12th with the alert on. I feel upset that it's gonna sell, the first sell day. out and then so many people that have been waiting for it aren't gonna get it because it's gonna be gone. So I would just go on your computer or your phone and have the mansion clothing website just pulled up and just refresh it. I just don't want any moms angry emailing me. Lightning fast shipping on this one. We're making sure that the customers are satisfied first and foremost and they're getting their stuff fast. Sometimes I buy clothes and I don't get them for like two months. I'm sorry, this is just hard. The, the chrome. We gotta go outside. Like, yeah, so I'm already dripped down. Then this is different material from the first shirt, right? Feels so good. I was getting a lot of people saying they loved how soft the first drop was. I was like, great, but I want it to be even better. I need something quality. That, so now a lot, of, a lot of time and effort's gone into this. Made in America. It comes on the back of the shirt. We put that in the tag. USA. There are people that make stuff for very cheap and sell it for high. Mm. That's not what's happening here. We're pretty much paying what you guys are buying. So if quarantine was over, it'd be so cool. Like going out to meet you guys and y'all are rocking this. The drip speaks for itself. So I'm saying the white with the white on the 
Birkenstocks. Or wait till we come out with pants, jackets, socks. We're gonna make everything. Because the winter drops and fall drops are gonna have a lot of stuff in them. And it's gonna be so many different types of products. Making phone cases, making cards, skateboards. That's all I'm awesome. saying is foot is on the pedal. No brakes. Follow at Mansion on Instagram. Rob's getting a call right now. It was probably your crush. <laughs> it was my mom. Oh. Mom crush Monday. Alrighty. Gonna... Mansion Monday. Mansion Monday. It's currently 7.30 p.m. Curfew was at five. So we're kind of breaking the law right now. Oh! Man, I grew up on this lifestyle though. It's nothing to me. Look at, he got that gangster. Look at the graffiti. I'm hard. He knows about it. The flakes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hard. I'll dry flaky cut. <laughs> it is nice day out though. Now will be a great time to be a bird. No curfew. What kind of bird though? A robin. Please clap. Quick question, quick answer. Why do you have to outshine me and bada boom? I did it. You told me it was gonna be like a freestyle. So I wrote really quick. You had like three different flows in the whole song. No, what I'm saying is that it complimented each other very nicely. It sounds like I didn't even try. No, ask the comments. I swear to you. Everyone... I went for the freestyle vibes. Do you guys want to hear more music from, from us? Oh, well, they haven't even heard the one that- No, no, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh that's sorry. That. I, I didn't even I mean to say that. that. We didn't say anything. I think we should go back inside, though, because it is kind of sketch, because it's kind of quiet and no one's out here, and uh, <laughs> I don't want to get, like, arrested, so. You just see, like, Rob gets scooped up. <laughs> and there's some fun stuff you can do while you're on lockdown. Like? Simon says. Simon so. says... Okay, next game. <laughs> so basically, we live in a place that like, there's a celebrity that we know. And she brings over this other A-list celebrity. A-list, top-notch celebrity. And we've been in different encounters where it's like, we can almost talk to them, but we're like, <laughs> do we? We saw her again right now, and we're like, let's go try, and then she went up the elevator. But then it's like, they're just humans too, right? Like, we can go and talk to them. Yeah, multimillionaires, what do you say to them? As a celebrity, like, if it's not somebody you know, they're used to you, what do you want out of me? That's not what we want. But, but I don't even want to ask for a picture. We live in the same place, so you're gonna see them over and over, and it's like, oh, there's that creep that always wants pictures. So we're looking for that right moment where we can just be like, oh, hey, like, I'm trying to make some friends. I'm just trying to be friends. Yeah. We had our chance right now, but we, we missed it, so. We'll keep you updated with the mystery celebrity interaction. In times like these, I think it's important to try to step away from it all if possible if you can watch a movie or watch love Live serve or rob or somebody definitely rob if you can somehow take your eyes off the twitter or the grimmy gram for a little bit definitely that's so true what's been helping me is i've been playing some video games call of duty overwatch streaming on twitch which you should follow me on there and watch my streams because I stream every day and it's kind of fun. But definitely try to get your mind off things. Suck yourself into this world where you can kind of forget about the stress and everything that's going on in life. It's not good to completely forget, but I think it's good to, you know, sometimes take a break from it. I saw a security car. So we're heading back inside. Okay, yeah, here we go. <laughs> 